right hello there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel so the new champions for the month of march have been quite unexpectedly revealed and again if you are somebody that uh, does not like things to be spoiled well then i don't know why you're watching this video in the first place but i'm about to show them so here we go you have been warned three two one and here omega sentinel is finally finally coming to Malcons of Champions. That's right, the Summoner Choice 2020 runner-up Omega Sentinel uh, is coming to the game. And I think that is going to make a lot of people very, very, very excited. For those of you who do not know much about Omega Sentinel, she's an Indian descent character that used to be detective and basically kind of got herself off and then cybernetically enhanced and she's kind of a mixture of a human and a robot so let's call her cyborg or more so of a robot and she does possess a ton of awesome abilities uh so we can see her stats here from the marvel fandom page but the base idea is that she has enhanced strength enhanced sensor enhanced reflex enhanced speed endurance flight nano shifting she has nano bot technology available to her so that immediately gives uh, ground for quite a lot of different abilities, including regeneration, so on and so forth. Adaptive cyberpathy, so controlling, uh, you know, machines, machinery, technopathy, energy manipulation, energy shielding, teleportation, and then whole bunch of different things. So she is a very intriguing character. I'm sure that after last year, if you had been playing Malcons of Champions for long enough, then you will remember kind of like her initial sketches or character designs. And uh, yeah, I am very, very, very glad to finally see Omega Sentinel getting added to the contest. And I really, truly do hope that she is going to be created as an amazing champion. The only problem here, obviously, is because in March, the balancing program is meant to take place and if she comes out awesome there's always going to be that doubt that you know she might be tuned down or on the other hand if she comes out awful then you might still have some sort of hope that she gets tuned up but either way it will just make it a lot more difficult to kind of <laughs> we know what you think about balancing anyways we have a second champion as well the second champion is Elizabeth Braddock as Captain Britain. Elizabeth Betsy Braddock, Captain Britain. Now, if you think the name does sound familiar, then you will be right, because this person is already in game. Elizabeth Braddock is Psylocke. So she's a mutant with psionic powers. And Captain Britain as in like the original character is her brother and then at some point she took on the mantle of captain britain i think first briefly and then eventually kind of shifted on it pretty much permanently but uh yeah we get basically a completely different version of psylocke and with that you know it's not a character that i personally would have ever necessarily advocated to be added in the game if anything i would have liked to see uh captain britain the original version but uh, i have feeling that both of the female characters are getting added in the honor of the women's day in march which does make sense which is perfectly fine with me it's just uh it's still not the champion that i would have personally you know chosen i think that was an option for morgan Le Fay or plenty of other different champions that we do not have in the game and would be absolutely amazing additions but uh again who knows this is who they have chosen they picked it and uh hopefully hopefully she is absolutely amazing with very interesting powers she does seem to be quite powerful she has a ton of stories she's involved in a ton of storylines but this version in particular is kind of i believe meant to be you know the final the latter part of her hero's journey and story after she already had her falling out with x-men and dealing with the apocalypse and all that other stuff we have two in intelligence which is quite harsh i'm not gonna lie if you compare it to everything else then uh, that, that that's quite harsh man this power grid must be sexist 
Right, so we have strength 6, so she's going to meant to be extremely strong and durable. Uh, 4 in speed, 5 in energy projection, and 4 in fighting skills. But she does have an absolute ton of powers. In telepathy, she has psionic knives, psionic blast, astral projection, psionic shadow. She, she can mask her own presence and, you know, kind of be undetectable. Telepathic illusions, mind control, telepathic detection, paralysis, amnesia. Uh, psionic immunity, precognition, light, force fields, concussive blast. So there's a ton of abilities. Telekinetic crossbow, telekinetic sword, katana, spike flail, invisibility, <laughs> enhanced condition, master martial artist, master. Of tele ah, so we, we see that there is like a lot that can be used in her kit. So it's entirely up to Kabam basically. Uh, to take the best parts of it, make it look awesome, and make it effective. And, uh, yeah, no, uh, all in all, I'm still quite excited for the next month, namely because of Omega Sentinel. As I said, when it comes to Captain Britain, if, you know, I'm not the biggest Captain Britain fan to begin with, either or version, but I think the more iconic version of Captain Britain, the one that if you use the words Captain Britain, is typically her brother. That's what everybody kind of like thinks of Captain Britain. Uh, but we're getting this version. So again, not the choice necessarily that I would have made, but I'm sure that a lot of people will be excited for her as well. And I am happy for you. I do not mean to kind of like uh, jump on the character, but it's all good and well. I'm still happy, Bunny, because we're finally getting Omega Sentinel and finally seems a bit of kind of cathartic closure in there because we were so close to getting Omega Sentinel in the game, you know, last year with the Hercules and it didn't happen. And now, and now, now finally that issue is, is just going to get resolved. So I am very excited, very happy. Can't wait to see exactly what she can do because there is so much potential for cool attacks, cool animations. All sorts of jetpacks, jet boots, you know, her flying in there and using all sorts of nanotech makeshift weapons of her body and then having a ton of abilities. And uh, again, more than likely, she's going to be a tech character and tech characters can have like, you know, wide application of their powers. We can we have come to kind of expect some power control from tech champions, some armor up buffs and, you know, whatnot. So. Again, it's going to be extremely, extremely interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited actually for this champion. <laughs> I did not think it's gonna cheer me up as much as it did, but as, as soon as I saw that, I was very pleasantly surprised. But that is about it. Let me know what do you think and know about uh, Captain Britain Betsy, uh, and what do you think about Omega Sentinel finally coming to the game? I do know that I have a very large Indian viewership, so I'm sure a lot of Indian players are going to be happy that uh, they get an Indian descent character added as well, and all that other good stuff. Uh, that's it for now, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya! Hello there guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, we have all the information about 